Good day, Tinkercad friends. Welcome back to another awesome coding day. Today, yesterday, we did what I call brute force coding. We brought in parts, we moved parts. Today, we're going to do the same type of project. I'm going to teach you how to program with a little bit of smarts so things are a little faster and maybe even a little more fun. Let's check it out. First things first, I need you to go down to code blocks and I want you to choose a new design. Once again, we're going to call it tree, but this time it's going to be a smart tree. Some things are so simple they don't change. The first one of those is to create a trunk. So bring out a new object and rename it trunk. When you've got that done, switch to your shapes and let's bring out the cylinder. Drop that cylinder in place, change its sizes. We're going to make the radius 5 and we're going to make the height 10. And then if you remember from yesterday, this draws at the midpoint of the zero so we're gonna right now put in our move command to make it come up five so it's at zero if you've never seen this before when you hit play poof it animates it it draws it and it moves it because we put the commands in let's make it brown so it looks more like a tree stump we'll hit play again and you can see how your code changes now here's what we're gonna get a little smarter yesterday we made something called branches but today we're simply going to make branch. Bring in your object, rename it branch. And then for our branch, we're going to bring in a shape called a cone. I'm going to tell you to drop it in, make it green, pick any green that you want. Make the bottom radius 25 and make the height 10. And just so that we're sure that it's drawing at zero, let's already move it up the half height that we have to do for every part. So we're going to simply put in a move, and since the height is 10, we're going to give it the move of 5. Alright, if you take a look at our tree at this point, it isn't high enough, and we knew that because we only did the half. Let's put the 10 plus 5 in here to raise it up, to change that to 15. And now, our tree is starting to take a shape. But all we have is one branch, here's where it gets magical. Click on Modify, bring out another new object, and we're going to name this one Tree. Click OK. Bring out the repeat, and we want to repeat four times, but we want to repeat four times with some cool math. And to do cool math, we need to bring out and create some variables. We need to create two of them, rename the first, and name it Height. Bring out the second one and rename it scale, which is how much something grows or shrinks. Our tree branches are going to shrink, so these will be less than one when we use them. Let's start by putting a 10 in the height box, and let's start by putting a 0.8 in the scale box, which is something we can change as we go. Let's move back to our modify section so we can find the add the copy of an object and this is kind of cool it's got a little hole here where we can reuse the objects we made simply slide down to your data and find the branch and we want to drop it in the box we're going to keep its current colors but we're going to change its size and this is where we go to the modify and we find the scale tool we want to keep the z which is the thickness or the height the same but we want to scale both the X and the Y. We're going to do that using our data number. And you're going to see why in just a minute. This is what makes this whole project epic. We need to move each chunk of tree up as well. So let's find our move command. And when we move, the only move we're going to change is the Z, which is the height. And we're going to do that with our height variable. Just for giggles, if you want right here, hit play and check it out. It happens, but you can't tell because they all land on top of each other. There are not four new pieces. And that's because we did not do the magical part of this, where we make the variables grow or shrink. And we do that using the math. So when we go back into our math choices, we want to bring out the awesome change item command. And we want to change our height, and we're going to start by changing it by 10. And then we're also going to set an item, which is going to be our scale. 
and we're going to set it with some math. So put your math operator in. Now notice when I set this in there, it makes the whole edge turn white. The next piece we want to drop in, we want to drop right in the hole, not on the edge, or it'll kick it out. So right here, I've got the whole white circle. Right here, I've got the white circle for the piece that I'm doing, the math. We must set it to a multiple or a multiply. And let's type 0.75. So now when it does the math for our tree, it's going to take 0.8 and multiply it times 0.75, which is smaller, and make our tree grow. Right now, I'm going to call this the end of the movie. I'm going to let you hit play and test it and show how awesome it can be. If you have an issue, make sure you double check to make sure your code is typed just like mine. You can have fun and adjust your numbers. If you change this to a different height, you'll get a different gap and your tree will look different. You can also change this scale to make your tree look different. And it'd be even cooler if you created one ornament and then made a word called decorations where it drew them all the way up the tree. You got all of these cool shapes that you could build ornaments out of. Uh, there are amazing options like with the heart and the stars and dropping them all over your project. But that's where I'm going to let you be creative and epic as you make something super cool. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this movie. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be the first to know when there's a brand new movie. And if you have a question or a comment, please add it down below. If you make something epic, please make sure you share it with at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Have a great day. Take care, friends.